Welcome to the Hubie D's post game interview. I'm here with head tennis coach Brett Cartman following today's men's and women's be uh, win over Brevard. Coach, you've had a tough month, a lot of rainouts, a lot of postponements. Can you talk about what it takes to get the team ready for this much of a delay? Yeah, in tennis, timing and positioning is probably the most crucial element. And with having a lack of court time, that's a major issue. Um, so what we've been doing is focusing on going indoors and working uh, any space that we can find and getting the most out of that space possible. Well, definitely you guys showed a little bit of rust today on the court you were talking about with me earlier, but you did pick up two wins. Can you talk about some things you saw out there out of your players and um, kind of give us a little bit of the highlights of today's match? You know, overall I was pleased with today. Um, Brevard was a quality team, quality program, and a day where you know conditions aren't ideal and you are lacking some on-court time. Uh, the kids picked up the intensity, uh, picked up the energy, and that was the difference in the match today. Well, it doesn't stop here. You have three more matches this week, Friday at home, Saturday away, Sunday at home. It seems like you're just doing putting all your matches in in one week. Can you tell me what it takes to get a team ready for four matches? What will the next few days, how are you going to prepare your team? But I think, again, to be able to play four matches starts in the off-season and preseason training. But that being said, transferring, dealing with four matches in one week is having the trainers in line with the strength coaches in line with everyone else that these kids are healthy, fit, and ready to go. Absolutely. Well, I think it's going to be a great week for you guys. I'm excited. Two more home matches. That's on Friday and Sunday. And be, make sure to come out and cheer on the Royals. But, Coach, good luck, and thank you so much. Thank you, Miller. Welcome back to the HBD's post game interview. I'm here with senior Josh Block. Josh picked up two wins today, both singles and doubles, and the team picked up a win on Brevard. Can you talk about your uh, your matches in particular and how you went through them? Yeah, the matches today were pretty good. Um, they weren't the toughest team out there, but it was a solid match. Just got through it, got a bit of a shoulder injury, but getting through that, matches weren't bad. Absolutely, you're definitely a warrior out there screaming, getting the team emotionally pumped, and it's kind of a good, it's a good match heading, uh, you've had like one or two conference games, but you're really heading into the heart of the conference schedule. Can you tell me how this prepares and gets you guys ready? Yeah, definitely, we need all of these matches. We have a match Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so this is a great warm-up one to start off. Um, yeah. Hopefully we'll do well in conference. Well, absolutely, get some ice on that shoulder, take care of it, and I'm looking forward to seeing you the rest of the year. Thanks, yeah. Josh. Thank you. Welcome back to the uh, PBD's post game report. I'm here with junior Christina Rusev. Christina, you had a lot of expectations. You were the number two last year coming into the number one spot for the team. Can you tell me how you prepared? You've had a strong season so far, so how does that really paid off for you? Yeah, well, this summer I trained a lot back home in Canada with um, one of my coaches. Trained every day, worked really hard both on the court and in the gym. And I also traveled a bit and played a few tournaments um, in the States. I came back to Charlotte for a couple weeks and got in some training here. And I think that just really helped me. Absolutely. We can definitely tell it on the court. You're all over the place. You're a monster. Um, but also, you guys have had a few matches so far, and you're really entering the heart of conference play. Can you talk about your season so far and where you see the team going uh, through the through the next few matches and then going into the tournament? Yeah, I mean, we've had a good start to our season so far. Um, we dropped a tough match to Erskine. Um, I think the matches were a lot closer than the score shows, so we're pretty confident going into conference tournament. We're going to definitely look to take this one this year. Um, I know we have three seniors, so I'd really like to win it for them. Absolutely. Well, good luck. We look forward to seeing you the rest of the season. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christina.